Hi, thanks for watching BibleMountain.com. One of the problems we have in American Christianity is we have lost perspective on the gap between who God is and who we are. God is much bigger and stronger and more powerful than we are, and we tend to lose perspective on that. Also, God is very unique and special, and we tend to lose perspective on that. Part of the reason we lose this perspective is because it is very easy for us to pray. We can go to God and talk to Him anytime, any place. And because we're human, over time, we start to take for granted the fact that we can talk to God anytime, any place. And then we start to lose perspective on the fact that God is very different than us. He's much bigger and more powerful. There's a big gap between who we are and who God is. Now, one of the best ways to understand what something is, is to understand what something isn't. Exodus 33 has a verse that illustrates something that's very different from what we Christians experience when it comes to prayer. And that verse helps us to understand what we have and also helps us to understand that we should not take for granted what we have and helps us to understand that we have to be vigilant that we keep God's existence and God's character into perspective. So let's take a look at this in Exodus 33. The context of this is the Israelites are at Mount Sinai. They're receiving the Mosaic Law. And then we read this in verse 7. Now Moses used to take a tent and pitch it outside the camp, a good distance from the camp, and he called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought Yahweh would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. So we see that Moses pitched a tent and he pitched it outside the camp. Notice also the words good distance. There was a distance between the camp and this tent. And then it tells us that anyone who sought Yahweh would go out to this tent that was a good distance from the camp. So what this tells us is when an Israelite wanted to seek God and go talk to God, they had to travel a distance just to get to a physical place where they could go to seek God and to talk to Him. Now that's very different than what we Christians experience. We Christians can talk to God anytime, any place. We don't have to travel anywhere to do that. Whereas the Israelites, they had to put forth a lot of time and effort to get themselves to a physical place where they could talk to God. Now, as I said earlier, unfortunately, as humans, we Christians tend to take for granted the fact that we can talk to God anytime, anywhere. And then over time, we start to lose perspective of the fact that there's a big gap between God's existence and our existence. Whereas with the Israelites, the fact that they had to put forth this time and effort just to get to God anytime they wanted to talk to him, that was a reminder that God was special and unique, and there was a gap between God's existence and their existence. And we don't have that. And so as Christians, there's certainly nothing wrong with the fact that we can pray to God anytime, anywhere, and we should do that. But we also have to constantly remind ourselves that God is much bigger and stronger than we are, and there is something very unique and special about who God is compared to who we are. If you haven't joined my Patreon page yet, please do so. As a member of the Bible Mountain Patreon page, you will be the first to get all of my content. Also, you will be sure to get all of my content. In order to sign up, go to BibleMountain.com, click on Patreon, there will be a place there to sign up. Once again, thank you for watching BibleMountain.com.